and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PUDDLE at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's PUDDLE back with another Madden Ultimate Community, guys. And today I'm going to be going over what you need to be doing first in the Madden Harvest promo, guys. Now, this is an important video because I know a lot of you guys, when you first get into a video, when you, not a video, when you first get into a promo, you guys are overwhelmed, right? There's new sets. There's new packs. There's new cards. There's new solo challenges. There's new daily solo challenges. There's new currency. There's new objectives. And you're like, where do I start, right? So this is what this video is for. I'm going to go over everything you guys need to do in order. I know all the information you guys need to know. So I'm easily able to go over everything you guys need to have done. Now, guys, I am recording this prior because I do have school obligations and a bunch of other things. But, guys, I know everything you guys need to know. So I'm going to go over it, ranking in order, what you need to start with. And guys, before we get into that video and we start getting into all this information, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notify bell, boys. Come join the family. Guys, we're getting into this, we're getting into the holidays, so make sure you join the family and join in right now. Before, guys, I don't know what before, but you guys get the point. Now, comment down below what you guys plan to do first. I have my overall consensus that I'm going to be going over first. But if you guys get anything that you guys think I should have included, comment down below so you can help with the community. And guys, make sure to spam the like button on this video. Can we can we break our record in likes on a video before, guys? We have 950 likes as our record. Can we hit 1,000, boys? If you start liking right now, we could potentially hit it, so run it up, guys. Now, let's get into this video. So, first things first. When you first log into the Harvest Promo, you're going to get a welcome pack that gives you a night train lane like 76 over or whatever, or Michael Irvin 76, and you're going to get a mutt tip. Now that mutt tip is important. Do not quick sell that mutt tip because as they told us in the video, the mutt tip is important. I'm gonna show you guys some screenshots real quick to show you guys what the mutt tip entails and kind of what you need it for. All right guys, so when you open up that mutt tip, this is the first thing you're going to see. It's the Harvest Welcome Pack. It's gonna be the 82 Night Train Lane and a Harvest Mutt Tip. Now, if you guys read carefully, this Mutt Tip can be used to get your first Turkey Stuffer card. Now, the first thing you wanna do when you start this promo is get your Turkey Stuffer card. There's going to be eight overall options. There's Odell, Quentin Nelson, Tom Brady, Adrian Amos, Ryan Kerrigan, and so on and so forth, Zach Ertz. But the point is that this gets you one of them. Now, you get a 76 overall Turkey Stuffer card. Now, to upgrade these cards, because they are upgradable, obviously, they're not 76 overall cards, you need to get the the food collectibles as per usual and past mans have always had food collectibles so make sure you don't quick sell this month tip obviously if you sell it you can still get it anyways but it's going to cost you a little bit of coins to make up for the ones you lost not quite a bit but just a little bit so you're gonna want to save this and then you can get your option of all of one of the eight but remember you can get all eight at the end of the day anyway so it's not like you don't have to go crazy about who's your first one but i'd recommend the one you want to get first figure that out first because you want to upgrade them first now once you have this, pick your guy, obviously. It's going to be in the stats. You're going to put the turkey stuff for mutt tip in, and you're going to get a turkey stuff for card. It's going to be a fantasy pack, and it's going to look just like this. It's going to have all the cards, obviously, the other four on the other side. Now, you're going to want to get into this, pick your card, and upgrade them with food items. To get food items, you're going to get them from probably solos, from packs, from collections. We're going to be able to find all that out as we get into it. Now, guys, the next thing you want to be doing is two of two things. There's no, there's no debate. I think these are the best two things to do after you get your turkey stuffer and you're ready to go with that. You want to go play your Harvest Daily Solos. Now, your Harvest Daily Solos is going to guarantee you guys coins and cards. Now, they didn't specify the cards. It says it's going to change every day, so come back every day to see what it is. I don't know how many of these you can play per day, but as per usual with any promo, you always want to play the Daily Solos first because if you start spamming the real solos, you have weeks for these solos, right? Two, two to three weeks, depending on when they actually, the promo gets, you know, they take the promo out. So play your Daily Solo first, get that done. There's coin rewards and card rewards, so get whatever you need to get. Maybe it's gold harvest players, and you can save up to get collections done. I don't entirely know yet, but make sure you're getting that done. And then also, they did guarantee us that there will be a team captain token. Now, if you guys know what a team captain token is, those are the tokens that you do use to upgrade your team captain. So, like, Ryan Shazier for me is a 92 overall. He now will become a 93, because I think this is our third or fourth team captain token. I don't entirely know. I think it's the third, unless someone we missed some. I'm not entirely sure. But, guys, get that done, because once you get those things done, those are, like, the, the one-time things, right? Your turkey stuffer card, your dailies, and then your captain token. Once you get that done, then you can fully embark into the harvest promo. Now, let me go over back to the master screen to show you guys what to do next. As you guys saw on that screen, you're going to be playing the turkey bull tryouts and the turkey bull solos in general, because the turkey bull solos are the ones that guarantee you the free 92 overall, guys. Yes, you get a free 92 overall turkey stuffer card. And the options, obviously, are the Tom Brady. Quentin Nelson, Odell Beckham Jr., Zach Ertz, and on the defensive side, it's AJ Bouye, Ryan Kerrigan, Adrian Amos, and Joey Bosa. Now, guys, don't fear. I will be having a ranking video coming to you guys probably shortly after this video, going over the top, all eight of them and ranking them from eight to one, going over the best ones to take. So hopefully by the time you guys are getting near the end of the solos or 
way before hopefully you guys can see that video and have an idea so make sure you stay on the lookout for that video so guys to recap again real quick get your turkey stuffer done your turkey stuffer collectible with the mutt tip get your captain token play your daily and then start these solos now from what kralo said which i don't know how factual it is it sounded kind of weird he said you do not need to get max stars on these sequence you just need to finish every solo which that'd be incredible right because typically what's hard about getting your free players it means you get four to five stars in every one which means you have to plan hard which means you're going to lose some of them restart some of them they're going to be a lot more difficult but guys if you can play them all on easy that's a joke it's going to be on arcade easy going to be a very easy solo sequence in general so that is the case and you only need one star per solo trying to finish them that's like old school madden right just finish the solo sequences doesn't matter there's no difficulties so if that is the case guys it should be pretty easy to get it now once you get your free player guys you're looking pretty good right a free 92 overall card a turkey stuffer to upgrade and don't forget these cards will be not you cannot sell them but they do go into a set now guys you know where the sets will be the sets will be over here in the harvest set now the harvest set is going to give you it's gonna well it's gonna be a master set there's gonna be michael Irvin and night train lane now, the Michael Irvin needs the four offensive players, and the Nitro needs the four defensive players. So guys, the beauty of this here is that with your Turkey Stuffer plus collectibles, plus the Nat card you're gonna get from the Solos, you could potentially get two for damn near free at some point, depending on how many collectibles they give us. So that entails that you will need two more cards to get a free Michael Irvin. Now, obviously it won't be free because you have to pay for the other two. But the point here is, is that I'll make a video going over the math and everything, but as you guys don't, don't if hopefully you don't forget from the most feared, typically if you can get half the set for free already, and you buy the other two and you sell Michael Irvin, you could potentially leave a four players not for free or even close to it. Now, guys, this is always my favorite set every year. It's going to be the captain sets or the, the, the master sets. So they give us two for free or close to it, right? And you have to buy the other two. Let's say you have to get enough collectibles because you can't buy them off the block. You have to get collectibles to build them. Let's say building them costs 450K. And then you can sell Michael Irvin for 500, 600K or 500, 450K. And then that means you could probably end up with four Nat cards for really close to free. Plus you get a Michael Irvin power up to sell. So depending on how expensive it is, I might have to do both of them or just one of them. So remember that when picking your Nat cards. If you pick one defensive, one offensive, you're going to be screwed. You're going to have to finish those sets. You're going to have to buy three and three. If you just want to get your max coins or your max potential Nat players, make sure you're staying both defensive or both offensive side of the ball. I don't know if there'll be an exchange set for that. So do not count on an exchange set. Because if you count on an exchange set, you might end up with you remember that each set has four and four so if you get one of each then you have to buy three to finish each set and then you're going to screw yourself if the case is that you want to do that now don't don't forget guys i will have the video out for you guys hopefully tomorrow going over how the set works how to make smack coin so do not make any decisions until you see that video that should be the second video out for you guys tomorrow and tomorrow is actually friday so yeah it could be the first or the second depending on how the day is looking now once you have all that done right there's gonna be more solos than just that. There's obviously the solos for the turkey stuffers. There's gonna be like, there's gonna be some more solos you wanna get to like the backyard games. Get that done, there's corn rewards. There's plenty of opportunity. Plus you keep leveling up as you do that. So it's definitely a great opportunity to get all that done. Then in the store guys, there's going to be a pack for 150 bucks, but not real money, 150 Madden points. So it's going to be a pack that gives you a player guaranteed from like, I think it was an 82 to an 89 overall. So it's kind of a gamble, right? But for $1.50, I think an 83 overall kind of gets your money back anyway. So, I mean, obviously you'll never get your actual currency back. This is up to you guys, right? For your no money spent guys, disregard this. But for you guys who continue, sometimes spend money on the game, it's a $1.50 pack. If you pull an 89, that could go, that's a top piece for a set for the Turkey All-Stars. So that could be useful. Now guys, the Turkey All-Stars is the next thing you wanna be looking at. See, I see the Turkey All-Stars as fantasy football. Turkey All-Stars are the cards that play on Thanksgiving and depending on their performance, they go up in overall. So it's an investment, right? If you spend 200k into the Dak Prescott and you build the Dak Prescott 90, now he's going to be nat for now until he performs on Thanksgiving. And once he gets his final form, you know, his, his, final, his final upgrade, he will be sellable. So guys, this is important. I'm obviously going to make a video going over the best turkey stuffers to do. I don't know if that'll be coming out to you guys today, but I definitely want to go over that. So the best turkey stuffers, guys. So guys, first and foremost, these cards do go or are 90 overall cards. So their highest potential to upgrade is to a 92 if they do both their objectives. So the first thing you want to look at, guys, is their objectives are they viable are they decent now Dak Prescott is probably one of the better options they are versing I forget which team they were versing I don't know if it was the Lions wherever they were playing but the point is is that obviously in that video I'll go over all the matchups and I'll show you guys that but a quarterback getting 250 yards is a very likely outcome especially with the way Dak Prescott has been passing the ball this year and getting three touchdowns is another not likely but it, it's it seems more it seems there's a better chance of a quarterback getting three touchdowns in my opinion than a, a cornerback getting an interception right interceptions aren't that aren't that common for a individual player you know it's a team sport especially defensively maybe they don't throw it to the shadow corner but the point is here guys is that it's like fantasy football worst case scenario let's say it costs you 150k to make Dak prescott for a 90 overall worst case scenario he ends up selling for like 120 right best case scenario 
he goes up to a 92 overall he can now get escape bars and he goes for like 340k so i remember last year or two years ago in the last year i've seen people do kenny galladay's xavier rhodes xavier rhodes actually got both his upgrades one year and that coin up to a 92 ended up selling for like 380k people made double their coins on him so it's a gamble but I think the risk versus reward is very worth it for some cards. Obviously, some cards aren't good, aren't good base. They probably won't get it, and their, their card won't go for a lot. But obviously, I will have a video for you guys going over that. So don't fret about that. But Turkey Stuffers, not Turkey Stuffers, Turkey All-Stars are definitely important for you guys to go check out and look into. Because if you do them right, it's fun, right? Eating Thanksgiving dinner, watching your card, and you see them get their stat. You're like, oh, I just made 100 k in Madden. Second set, I just made 150k, 200k men. It could be a very fun opportunity. Plus, watching fantasy football, plus with the family, it could be an awesome Thanksgiving. I think it's a fun thing to do, guys. I think that pretty much wraps up all the things that you guys want to be doing. Team captain token, turkey stuff for mutt tip, solos, get your coins and cards. Start looking at the master sets and seeing which one you want to probably do, whether it be defensive or offensive. I'm probably leaning towards. Oh, this is tough. I want to say defensive, just because I'd like. Oh, no, I want Michael Irvin. I don't know. I take it all back. That's, that's a hard one. And then don't forget to look at your Turkey All-Stars. And now, and just for now, that is for the time being. Obviously, they're going to drop a little bit of times and probably some more Harvest Dailies that get better. But I think those are the first things you want to do for now. Get those out of the way. And then obviously, I'll re update you guys the next few days over going what you want to be doing. But guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification boys. Come join the family. We're getting to the holiday season. Come join now. Let's keep growing. Let's see how big we can get by Christmas. Comment down below what you guys are doing first. If you think I missed anything, let me know down below. Help out the community. And guys, let's run this like button up. Everyone watching, best way to help the channel is always like the video. If we get 100 likes in the first hour, guys, that'll be pretty awesome. Everyone watching right now, make sure you like the video. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your Thanksgiving promo. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.